What's up guys? This is Hylian Mum and today in Subnautica Below Zero, I'm going to show you how to find all nine of the Mercury 2 PDA logs. So we're going to start here at Delta Island with the Delta Station Dock Beacon. And some essentials you are going to need for this is your laser cutter to cut through the sealed doors, as well as I suggest a secondary oxygen tank so that you can basically give yourself a lot more time in the exploration of the wrecks. So starting from Delta Station Dock, we are going to put ourselves two notches to the right of southeast on our compass. And we're just going to shimmy over here to clear the island. And we're going to travel 320 meters to the Mercury 2 stern section. So here's the Mercury 2 stern section. We're going to cross over to the other side to enter it. So down here on the side facing northwest north, there is a little ditch underneath it. We are going to basically enter through there. So at the back of here, there is a hole in the bottom of the ship. We're going to go up through there. And that leads us into this room. So for here, there's a door, and we want to cross the hallway to the adjacent room over there. Once you're across the hallway, there should be another hole up in the ceiling again. We're going to go up again, where there will be an oxygen plant right here. So from this room, we want to go through the hole that is here to the west. And then if you turn right, your first PDA will be right there on the floor by the desk. Ruster Repair Stephanos. So now we're actually going to go right back through where the oxygen plant was, where we came, and there's a hatch above it, and that is the next place we want to go for the second PDA in the ship. So go through the hatch. And in the room the hatch leads up to, there will be your second PDA right here, and that one is the Glowing Picnic by Yasmin. So to get out, just back up through the hatch. And then we're going to go down through the hole in the floor. Out through the door and cross the hall to the adjacent room again. And then to the left of this room, we go down through the hole again. And we are out of the Mercury 2 stern section. So there are the only two PDAs in that area. So now we're going to go to the Mercury 2 bow section. It is again still two notches to the right of southeast on your compass. But this one is 200 meters deep, and it is 770 meters away from the Delta Station Dock Beacon. So let's go find the other seven PDAs over here. So here in the lily pad biome, you will find the Mercury 2 bow section. And from the side you approach it on, there is a small door entrance on the bottom left side. Right down here. So this is where we're going to go into the Mercury 2 bow. There are a total of seven PDAs in here. And it can get quite complicated, but we're going to go for the third one. So once you enter, you're going to go straight down the hallway to this room here. Turn right, go through the door, and there will be the first PDA hiding kind of just behind this desk here. Accounting of the Mercury 2 crash by Yasmin. So go back out, and we're going to go back down the hallway we came in from. And there's this big roots here that basically are by the staircase. If you turn west and you look, there is a sealed door here to access. So we're going to cut through this. And once you go into this room, if you look off to your right, there's the alien containment unit. And behind it is the next one we need, the next PDA log. So this is number four. This is trusting my instincts, Diana. So from here, to get number five, go to the center of the room with the big root. And you're going to ascend to the middle level. So not the top floor, but the middle one. 
And when you're facing south, there will be another room with another sealed door. So we're going to cut through this door and go inside. Alright, so this one here is the fifth PDA. It's just over on this side of the room. So come grab it by the tipped over desk here. So that's our fifth PDA, Aliens by Elliot. So we're going to go back out through the door because we're done here. Go back to the center of the room. And this time we are going to ascend to the top level. And at the top level, facing south again, we are going to go get number six. Which basically doesn't matter which side you go, but you're going to go all the way to the back. And through this door into the cockpit. And you'll have number six right here by another desk console. Emergency takeoff, Diana. Alright, so number seven, eight, and nine are in the passenger side of the ship. Depending on your oxygen, I kind of want to show you guys the other entrance, which basically leads to the passenger side. But you can go through this hatch here, and this hatch will lead you to the passenger area as well. This is kind of like the connecting thing to the other side of the ship. But I'm going to show you guys the way out from here, just in case you don't have as much oxygen as I do. So facing back north, we're going to go all the way until we find the big room with the root. Here we go. We're going to go all the way down. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And then facing off to the east, that's the door we came in. Go through there. You've got a big root here. Turn left. And that is our entrance where we came in with our sea truck. I do have my second tank, but I don't really need it, so let's just pop Oxygen. in here. So the secondary entrance to the Mercury 2 bow section is on the right side of the ship. So we're going to go over here. So this is our secondary entrance. So we're going to go through here. You'll see all these prawn pieces and there will be a hole in the floor. We're going to go down through that hole. And then you'll see a door or hole here with a lot of vines over it. Just kind of peek through there, get through. And if you turn to the left, you will see a hallway. Oh, well, sorry, actually. This is the hallway, but turn to the left and you'll see the first door you need to go in. So go through this door and you'll have your next PDA here on one of the bunks. Captain Badass by Diana. So go back to the hallway, facing down south, we're going to go down, and we have our next PDA, I believe is in this one, yeah, you've got two, you've got two rooms here basically, you've got this one here, so you go in here, this is your next PDA here, I miss my family, Elliot, and then when you go further down to the last room by the stairs on the right, that's where the final PDA is, over here on the bunk. Thruster damage, Stephanos. There we go. So now, just to find the way out of gain, of course, we're going to go here. Uh, and just a little side note, if you actually go here by the stairs through this broken place, you will see a hatch in the ceiling right here. That is the hatch which I showed you from the cockpit. So that is where you would have come out there. So you'd come through the hatch and you'd see these stairs with the broken wall and this is the hallway that we have found the three PDAs in, in the three bedrooms. So two on one side, one on the other, but we're going to keep going over here all the way to the end of the hall where we've got these vines covering. Go through, go up through the hole in the ceiling and the prawn suit and back to our sea truck. Easy peasy. And there we go guys, that's all nine of the Mercury 2 PDA logs. I myself have actually never read them. I am going to do a video soon of, of reading them for the first time now that I finally collected them. And I'm going to see what the whole story is about with these guys. So I am excited, honestly. I hope if you guys didn't get all of these that now you have them all and you can enjoy the story. As always, be kind, stay legendary, and may the Triforce always be with you. Eileen Mum out.